So where things get challenging these days has to do with Medicare. The way the Medicare system works is that there is, you know, all these different interests that are involved in taking care of the patient. So you've got the facility, you've got the durable medical equipment, you've got the medications, you've got the uh, the prostheses and equipments, and you have over here is the physician way over here, and everybody submits their bill for their part of the care of this particular patient, and everybody expects to get paid by Medicare. And generally, in the past, it worked fairly well, I and mean, those claims would get paid out. Interestingly, the cost, the lion's share of the costs, didn't exist down here with the physician, but all these other steps in between. One of the challenges is with the declining reimbursements with Medicare for physicians, they were trying to reduce basically access by paying us less to do the procedures, the, you know, hoping to save money by doing fewer procedures. And it, does, it didn't seem to work out. But I think the important thing to know is that, you know, as I no longer participate in Medicare, it doesn't mean that you're going to be responsible for the whole cost of care. It just means that the little fee schedule over here that was attributed to my care, that's the part that I can't accept Medicare uh, designation or at least assignment of claim. I can't get paid directly from Medicare for anymore and keep my practice afloat. So that's what generally the patients are going to be responsible for when they come into my practice. The hospital, the physical therapy, the medications, all that is still covered under Medicare. So generally, that's not going to change much. But what they are going to be responsible for is my fees. I try to keep my fees very reasonable for what we do. And it's in, in line with what I need to do to keep the practice afloat and be able to keep the volume at a level where I can give the attention to individual patients that they deserve. I mean, I'm not about trying to cram as many patients as I can into 10 minutes. I really want to try to spend time and get to know people. And that's why I got into this game. I expect more surgeons, more providers. I mean, I expect most physicians are going to start to gravitate this way because, um, you know, in 20, uh, 2022, we saw big changes in healthcare as a consequence of the COVID you know, crisis. This, the cost of care cannot be ignored and it's going to be a bigger problem for us, our health system as going forward. So one of the great things about my team is I've got a, now a team that's very adept at doing these kind of scenarios, you know, figuring out for you what your cost, expected out-of-pocket cost is going to be. And that's what I'm very proud of is we'll come up with a good faith, faith estimate for you. So a good faith estimate is sort of an idea of kind of what you're expected to cover in terms of your cost. And what's nice is rather than your typical healthcare experience, I know this from my own <laughs> healthcare issues, but you go in and, and you get your care and then for the next trailing seven months or 12 months, you're going to keep getting bills that you don't know whether you're expected to pay them or not. Then you go back to your insurance plan and you look for the EOB and you find it and you go, oh, I'm due to have to pay this one. What's nice with us up front is we're going to tell you what you're expected to pay. Once you've paid that up front, you're, you're done with us. I mean, we, we're covered. And that's, that's reassuring. You're not going to get hit with a surprise after the fact bill from us. One of the nice things that my practice does is we can do things to make sure that we minimize the risk of additional expenditure by making sure that we get you to a center that might be in network. That's one of the things we can do is try to get you, uh, get your care performed in a center that is cost effective for you. And, and that's where my surgery scheduler can be really helpful and, and they can help you, you know, steer this in a way that keeps those out of pocket costs to a minimum.